Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to another daily movie review in Spooky Season. It still continues. Today, we're going to be talking about the 2018 film Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich, directed by Sony Laguna and Tommy Wickland, written by S. Craig Zoller, and uh, based on characters by Charles Band. The film stars Thomas Lennon, Jenny Pelliser, Nelson Franklin, Charlene Yi, Michael Pear, Barbara Crampton, Udo Kier, and others. The plot synopsis is all hell breaks loose when a strange force animates the puppets up for auction at a convention, setting them on a bloody killing spree that's motivated by an evil as old as time. So yes, Puppet Master The Littlest Reich. This is the only Puppet Master movie I give a fuck about at all. I haven't seen, you know, in fairness to the other Puppet Master movies, I've seen probably like half of them. I haven't seen them in a long time. It's probably a decade plus since I've watched a Puppet Master movie that isn't The Littlest Reich. And the only reason I ended up watching Puppet Master The Littlest Reich is because of the writer, S. Craig Zoller. If you don't know this, I'm a big fan of S. Craig Zoller. I just like his work. I like his stuff um, as a writer-director. And he's also a novelist as well. He did Bone Tomahawk, Dragged Across Concrete, one of my all-time favorite movies, Brawl and Cell Block 99. Um, so that was what caught my attention. Like, oh, he's doing it. And you could say the sense of like, oh, he's slumming it or whatever. Cause he usually does kind of these hard crime dramas and these character pieces. And, um, but I think here, if I'm not mistaken, I think I read an interview or listened to an interview that he just saw it as a challenge. Like, can I write a puppet master movie? And he can. <laughs> In fact, one of the most pleasant surprises of the movie, being familiar with Zoller's filmography, is that how much Zoller is in it. His kind of dry, acerbic wit um, and his kind of slightly mean-spirited attitude. And I mean mean-spirited because he's like so pragmatic that it come, can come off as mean-spirited. Um, and this is a really solid movie. I don't know if I said that already, but I really enjoy Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. It is a fun fucking bad funny horror flick um it's got some of the wildest kills i've seen in a movie in a long time i cannot remember a time where i was like i remember when i first saw it when it came out in 2018 me and my wife were just like up uh we're just sitting in front you know sitting up watching it and i was just like oh like both of us audibly going like holy shit um, because there are these little Nazi puppets <laughs> and then there's a, con they're at a, like a puppet convention or whatever before they all get possessed and by these Nazi ghosts basically. And, uh, so they're going, running around the hotel, like this, this historic hotel killing people. And one of them's a pregnant woman. <laughs> and so you just see a pregnant woman and her husband in bed laying there. And then you see the puppet come in and he like crawls up the, the covers and then crawls up into the woman's uterus and fucking rips through her stomach, <laughs> carries this unborn child out of the stomach with it while dragging its umbilical cords, pulling the rest of her guts out like that happens in this movie. And it's done in a way that is gruesome and crazy. I was actually watching part of it while my son was like awake. And I had to shut it off because he's getting a little bit older now. So I, I can't just, I got to remember that like, you know, he's three. Let's give him a chance, guys. Let's give him a chance. He doesn't need to be like his dad. He doesn't need to be weird. <laughs> and and I, also he was just getting disturbed. He was getting scared because, and it wasn't that scene. I shut it off before that happened. Cause I was like, Oh fuck. But, um, even just some of the early kind of tamer stuff is pretty wild, you know? Um, so the cast is awesome. Uh, it's one of the coolest things about the movie. It's like, it's got, or the coolest aspect of the movie. It's like, it knows exactly what kind of movie it is. And it just goes for it. it just goes to the nines to the tens, whatever you want to call it. It just fucking does everything it can to achieve that. And everybody works in concert. Like everybody was on the same page. Everybody understood the vision of the movie. Cause it's got, you know, strong direction in that sense. Uh, the cast is very game. The special effects are tons of fun. It's all practical stuff, and it's all gross-out gags and uh, just funny, gross shit. So if you're a little bit more on the morbid side or you have a darker sense of humor, this is definitely right up there with you, uh, for you. This should, this should scratch that itch, I guess. Um, 
And like I said, the script is actually better than you think it would be. It has stronger characters than most movies like this do. Um, even Thomas Lennon, who, you know, you know who Thomas Lennon is. Uh, Lieutenant Dangle from Reno 911, you know, State the State alum. Uh, Viva Variety, comedy staple, Thomas Lennon. Uh, he's kind of the main, he's the main guy. Um, you know, you're going to recognize a lot of the other people, especially, you know, got Barbara Crampton from, you know, the Stuart Gordon horror stuff from like the 80s and 90s. Um, Nelson Franklin is the guy you'll probably uh, recognize, Charlene Yee as well. Uh, but Thomas Lennon definitely carries the movie and he does a great job because uh, he, and he, he's not playing a goofy character either. Like he is sardonic. He is the. He's the the cool audience avatar guy who gets to make the quips. But he sells it pretty well. It makes a compelling argument for him being like a I don't know like like more he I could see him do like an action movie. If it was right, if it was if it was modulated correctly, I could totally see Thomas Lennon like doing a cool action like action comedy movie and him not being it not being completely unbelievable, you know? Like, he delivers here. I was very pleasantly surprised, because Thomas Lennon, you know, I like him. I'm not, like, a huge, huge Thomas Lennon fan. I mean, I like Reno 911 just as much as the next person. I like the state. I like where he comes from. Uh, but, you know, he always works so well as part of a collective, you know? He, he's a guy that y- you bounce things off of. Not necessarily like the lead, the focus of something. But uh, I know it's a little later in his career. He's an older guy at this point, but he sold it pretty well here. He sold it pretty, pretty well. Um, I mean, I would. you could also, I think, you know, in the story, as far as the story goes, you can make the argument maybe he's a little too old for his character. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll allow it. We'll allow it. Um, yeah. You know, it's just another one of these movies, too, that, like, necessity is the mother of invention. Like, it's clearly a low-budgeted movie, and they make the best of it. And uh, they actually use that, like, the budget constraints as part of a kind of a meta quality in the sense of, like, the self-awareness. Like, it's having fun with it, and it wants you, and it's letting you know that it's having fun with it. And it made it like even more enjoyable. It's just kind of a just a, a gore hound or whatever you want to call it, or somebody that enjoys some good goofy special effects, some good goofy horror stuff. Uh, this definitely will scratch that itch. Um, what else? What else could we say about it? I don't know. There's not really much else to say. It's just a solid little horror movie. And uh, if you're in the mood for something light, something fun. You want to watch it one night? I think this will do it. I know it used to be on Shudder. I don't know if it's a Shudder exclusive, um, but I know it's also. But you it's available everywhere else to purchase or rent as well. But if you have a streaming service, you could use that Shudder promo code. Do I still have it? I don't know if I still have it. I think it's like trying to remember what was the old video that had it she i don't know i got a bunch of promo codes there i'm not gonna edit that either let's stay in <laughs> me fumbling for the promo code i want to say it's like try shutter 30 shutter free 30 you could probably just google it honestly or you could try to find it in one of those old videos i did what the hell movie did i put it in my brother Dan, or I don't remember. I can't remember. Anyways, there are ways to get free trials of Shutter. I think even if you don't do, can't find the thirty day one, like a, the promo code for it, you do get a seven seven day free free trial. What you can do is just sign up, cancel immediately. <laughs> and sometimes when you do that, they'll actually offer you a free thirty days. So there you go. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to know more about Zoobox, there's a bunch of links in the description for Facebook, for Instagram, for my Twitter, for my brother Dan's Twitter. Also, if you would like to uh, make a request for one of these daily movie reviews, throw it in the comments, and I'll, I'll put it on the list, and we'll get to it as soon as we can. 
I do load these up a little bit. Some days I just go and do like four or five of them in a row. So I'm a little ahead. But if somebody recommends something, I will move it closer in the queue. You know, I'll do that for you, the viewer, the audience. It's all for you. Goodbye.